Hello everyone, it's System here, and this is Sky Factory 4. Hope everyone's having well and utterly fantastic day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. Uh, in between episodes, I did a lot of building, so let's kind of take a look, see, see what I did, and then, yeah, kind of push forward. Uh, this is our building. It's big. <laughs> it's large. It is a pagoda slash temple slash Chinese slash Japanese mismatch of nonsense, but it looks pretty good nonetheless. I think it actually looks pretty spectacular. Hope you guys like it too, and uh, it's not done. It's about 80% done. But I did go ahead and add the next level of it, and then the small level on the top, and uh, it is uh, pretty large. It's pretty tall, it looks pretty legit, and I'm uh, pretty pumped to kind of build it and get all of our machines and doodads and doohickeys in all the rooms, and yeah, get it set up. So yeah, the only thing I really changed with it was, well, the stone at the bottom. I turned that into uh, more gray concrete, so I have that going for me. And then I went ahead and added some red terracotta, just uh, going around the side there. Kind of brought it together, and uh, that's pretty cool. Thinking about doing some kind of pattern on the floor too, but I'll kind of work on that at a time. But uh, yeah, that too, the dirt. I need a way to hide that dirt up there. But uh, that's easy. That's easy, I think. So anyway, pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the scope of it so far. I'm still thinking of whether or not I'm going to add an island or not, or just build everything inside. I guess I'll figure that at a time as well. But uh, it's coming together, man. <laughs> like I said, probably about 80% done work on it more as we go. I'll probably just, I, I, these builds are never done for me in my head. So I'll look at something and look at, think it's great for three days and the third day I go, I don't like it anymore. Then two days later I'll go, oh, I liked it how it was before. And I just keep changing things. So it's kind of organic, <laughs> definitely a thing. I did move my tickers up here. And other than that, the only thing I really worked on, I guess a little bit was uh, deep mob learning, I guess. I uh, was working on uh, not that one. Actually, why is that one in there? It's supposed to be this one. Let's go ahead. Oops, right there. It's supposed to have my enderman in there. There we go. Do that. Pop that in there. Pull out this stuff. There you go. Oh, I forgot those things are advanced as, uh, as well. These matter. So these matters. There's uh, three of them, I think. If you go to your advancement, I think, in here somewhere. Yeah, right there. There's a twilight one it's from the twilight forest. And then there's another one from the Enderman, which I'm surprised I didn't actually get any of this yet. Oh, I don't have any Polymer in there either. Uh, because I did have Enderman in there at one point because I was getting this stuff to end crystals, right? So uh, you go to the recipe on those. It is from the Enderman matter. So obviously I had it in there at some point and didn't grab the matter or something. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I only did the end crystals too because I didn't know what else to do at the time. I didn't need ender pearls. <laughs> but anyway, I've been letting these go. I need a way to level up these Enderman one and this Blaze one way better. Uh, right now, they're both at advanced level, I think. So that one is advanced, and this one is advanced. Um, you can't do a trial on the Blaze. So if you go to the key here, I actually had it right there. Look at the key. There's actually a relatively short list of uh, mobs. You could actually run through the trials. The rest you're going to have to do manually. So we're going to set up a way to do that a lot easier and be able to get those up to self-aware. Um, Really easy, probably using the mob duplicator here in a couple minutes. So that's pretty cool. Unless we'll grab that as well. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, I love this matter. So yeah, we can grab a lot of things with this matter too. That is, that is awesome. But anyway, we're going to do that. We're going to set that up. Also, the Enderman one, I did do the trial. I did like, uh, I think two of them. I did two trials with it. And for some reason, the Enderman were like teleporting away from me, like nonstop to the point where I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> like it was really just painful. I was like one Enderman in particular on the second one, I sat there and swung my sword uh, probably about 40 times before I hit him once. It was like, just, it was just like, if I, I always shaved my head, but if I had hair, I would have pulled it out. <laughs> Definitely the thing. So yeah, what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up a way where we can kind of do that manually, uh, but quickly, and uh, we're gonna do that right away. And okay, the first thing we're gonna get to here is gonna be this machine right here, the mob duplicator. So we're gonna go ahead and make one of those. Uh, with this, we'll be able to, well, basically duplicate mobs and then level up our data models really easy and uh yeah just kind of take all the grindy parts out of it basically be able to basically stay at one spot swipe my sword and just be done with it so that's kind of the idea gonna need that also need a point so let's go ahead and get one of them uh we're gonna need a extraction cable i guess we'll go to the pipe right it's uh it's listed that way really nicely and awesome so the way this thing works, it needs uh, Essence and uh, RF. And with that, you can actually uh, duplicate mobs. We just need to get mobs imprisoned into a mob imprisonment tool. Then, then it's pretty much good to go. But the Essence has been coming in here in the crusher, which is actually backed up. Is this thing totally backed up? Oh, no, I had it pulled in a different direction. Anyway, not a big deal. 
come back to that later. We have like, um, yeah, 800, almost 900 buckets of essence. So we're really good there. It doesn't take that much to actually uh, duplicate in a mob. And uh, what else do we need here? We're probably going to need, we have that, we have that, our imprisonment tool. So let's go ahead and grab them. So it'd be mob imp, grab that. We need there, we need some gas tears. We can do those really easy now that we have this uh, hellish matter. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and grab some of them. Maybe, actually three is fine for now. Go ahead and grab that. Do that there. And uh, I think these things don't stack, so that's a thing. We're also going to need a way to actually get the mobs that we need to spawn in. Uh, to do that, we're going to need the seeds, right? So uh, let's go to Blaze Seed, see what we need. Blaze Seed is that. That's not too bad. Let's actually just get them kind of going here. Blaze Seed, because uh, there's another step there. We need to do Lava Wood. The other one I want to do is Wither Skeleton, I think. So let's go ahead and grab him. Oh, he's super easy. We'll just grab him, I think. Which seed is he? Yeah, he's just done. <laughs> go ahead and get that one. And what would be another one I want? Oh, Enderman. Enderman seed. This one actually has advancement attached to it, so we might as well do that, right? Looks like it's that recipe. That looks not too bad. Needs endstone. We could actually do endstone now, which is cool. Uh, we need some red sandstone, though. What was red sandstone? Red uh, sand? Let's go ahead and check that out. We did a batch of that earlier, but I think I only made one and didn't kind of for, forget about it. So we need water and red dye. So let's go ahead and grab... Uh, some rows. Do we have any? We do. Awesome. And a bucket of water. We also need lava and a piece of wood, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we need a piece of, I guess, oak. Let's do that. Awesome. And maybe a couple of buckets. <laughs> Got so many things to do here. We'll start this one here. We need lava wood for the blaze. So let's go ahead, grab a bucket of water. Is that working now? See, let me grab it that time. I have no idea. But anyway. Uh, we need to turn all these off. Let's do you, you, off, off, you off, and you off. Cool. Then I'll have to break one of these because it's got a little bit of copper in it, I think. Let's do you. And just get this going. So we'll do that. All we need to get this going for the lava wood is uh, throw lava inside the smeltery. You can do that through the drain. Then take the actual piece of oak, do that, and cast it off. That's cool. Now, the other thing I needed was the red dye water, right? So we'll need a bucket of water, which should not be too bad. We could probably grab that over here. Then do that, right? Then it's red dye. I think this is right anyway. I didn't even look at the recipe. <laughs> yeah, right there. Then I think we just need pieces of sand, right? So let's go grab some sand. Awesome. And then right here. Cool. <laughs> here we go. And that was for the Enderman seed, right? Enderman CD. Right there, I see ya. Awesome, and we have everything. Oh, it's sandstone? Is that really sandstone? It is, it's sandstone. Not a big deal, I mean, we, we have technology, right? That's it soon, but we'll need two recipes now. Okay, I need one more bucket of water, I guess. So we have everything we need here. Let's go ahead and grab that and that. There's our sandstone. We have our lava upstairs. And what was the last thing we need for the blaze? Let's go to blaze seed real quick. Blaze seed, it was, I actually have it over here, don't I? Sulfur, uh, we have to do, actually, is that ore addicted? It is not ore addicted. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the mechanism uh, sulfur. Let's go ahead and grab a netherrack. Netherrack, it's weird this sulfur is not uh, ore addicted. It's not like rotating the recipe, right? Uh, so I probably have to do this one right now. I'll try the other one too, but I don't think it's gonna work. Doesn't hurt either way, but uh, to get uh, mechanism uh, sulfur, you just take netherrack, crush it down. And uh, in a crusher, and you're good to go. Grab that. Awesome. And uh, let's head upstairs, get our piece of lava wood. See if we can actually finish these recipes here. <laughs> anyway, it is uh, right here. Cool. Let's so get our blaze seeds, hopefully. We just need the uh, whatever one was before it. Looks like chicken. Why does chicken lead to a blaze? I have no idea. So we have that one, and we have that one. The last one would have been Enderman. Enderman seed. Let's do that for a sec. Oops, I lost it. There we go. Do that. We need endstone, which is what I was working on, right? There we go. We have our endstone. And we'll probably need this die too. So let's go ahead and just make some. <laughs> sweet. And sweet. We have all of our seeds. Now to get these seeds to grow should be super easy. We'll go ahead and grab some grass here. So grass right there. Awesome. Take that, pop it down, and uh, get these seeds kind of ready. Get this kind of ready. And then I guess we just need some bone meal so we can grow real quick. So go to 
Bone meal, grab ourselves a stack. And my inventory is already clogged. Which one is this? Enderman? Let's do you. Let's do you. And let's grab you. And there we go. He's imprisoned. We can actually duplicate him, him now uh, with a skeleton. Oh, gave me another one. I don't even care, though. Let's go ahead and do another one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, he's already angry. Don't kill me, man. Can, can you not do that? There we go. We got him. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and grab a blaze as well. So the blaze will just sit there. Sweet. I probably should be more prepared when I do this, but I'm not really. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And there you go. So we have all the seeds to kind of start here, all the ones I wanted. I don't know why I broke that grass. Doesn't really matter, though. Next thing we're going to do is set up our little kind of way of automating this here. So we're going to come up probably here and start building. So I'm going to take the duplicator. I'm going to throw it like right there. Going to go ahead and grab the tank and the drum, I guess. I guess the drum and the extraction cable. Throw it like right here and here. That should be able to pull the liquid right into it. So it has its essence. Then we're going to have to give it power. So we'll probably power it from the back. So we'll do something like that there. Awesome. And then we're probably going to need a conveyor and a fan, right? So let's go ahead and see here. I think we still have conveyors from earlier. Well, early in the pack, I should say. Do that. Sweet. And a fan, we can probably use the one from Cyclic because we can contain it, kind of control the range on it. There we go. So I'm going to take the fan. I'm going to pop it right there. Uh, sorry, the conveyor. Throw the fan back here. I'm going to set this uh, fan to a power of two. And then the speed doesn't matter. And I want to push. Basically, that's just going to push me. Oh, I need to turn the redstone off. It's just going to push me basically to here. You know what I mean? So the mob uh, will get pushed off the duplicator then onto the conveyor. I need it off the duplicator because otherwise it'll only spawn one of these mobs until the mob gets off it. Then it'll spawn another one. Otherwise, it could just, you know, end up backed up right. I think it maxes out at like six anyway, but it makes it a little bit faster. So that's good there. That's good there. Uh, what do we still need here? Maybe some kind of building block. Let's go ahead and grab some concrete. Probably the chisel. Let's do that. Let's grab some kind of dented, I guess. We'll use that one. So we just do that. Then... Is it, why isn't it... Oh, I forget this eye chisel. It, like, selects them. I'm so used to the other one. The eye chisel's pretty cool, though. It has all these, like, special things. Okay, well, let's do that. So... There we go. And... We'll build a little cage here. Probably grab some glass here, too, so we can do it a little prettier. But anyway, this thing's already ready to go, basically. Uh, we just need to kind of build a little area. <laughs> there we go. Like that. Like that. Going to make it three tall, because we are going to be doing Enderman in here. And maybe some slabs for the roof. So let's go grab some slabbies. Let's grab some stone. No, let's grab... Oh, we have stone right there. Get that out. Do that. Sweet. We don't have much left. We have tons of it downstairs, though. I just haven't grabbed it. Probably have, like, 20,000 of it. <laughs> Which is cool. And there we go. This effectively should be ready. Uh, we are going to do a little bit more here, actually. Let's do you. Do you. And let's go up a little bit. And set up our last little bit of stone. And then maybe some dark glass. I don't know if this dark glass, I was looking at it earlier. Um, not sure if mobs can see through it or not, but it doesn't really matter that much. It's from Pickle Tweaks. It's one I just don't recognize. I think it was Pickle Tweaks. Yeah. There we go. So all we have to do, I'm going to just pop that there. Then all I should have to do now to get this going, because it is good to go, is go ahead and grab one of these mob imprisonment tools. See there, it's going to start spawning in mobs. And every few seconds, we should see another one spawn in. Actually, yeah, we got another one. There's a couple in there anyway. Uh, we're going to go over here, though. Go ahead and grab our data model. So I grab my data model now. Grab my deep learner. Go ahead and pop that in there. And uh, I should be able to level this up really easy now. Right now, we need 28. Every kill should count as two, right? But uh, I should be able to just farm these guys really easy, get the model upgraded. Oh, it upgrades my sword. Uh, get this upgraded really quickly, and then throw the data model back in the machine. It'll just produce stuff really quickly, so I don't have to wait around as much, especially that are on when I probably fully automate the process. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a thing. Because otherwise, this would have been a pain. I would have had to run around the nether. I would have had to hunt down a bunch of places, do all that jazz. But this way, I could just do this for pretty much any mob. This is actually faster than the trial. You know what I mean? You could do it faster here than you could with the trial. That is pretty cool. How much liquid is that using? Only like um, 12 or 13 buckets so far. 
it's only going to take about 25 more, then I'll have this one up to self-aware. At which point, I may go ahead and do the other ones, because why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, there are speed upgrades we can make for this, too. I'm just not bothering at this point, because uh, why bother? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this for a bit. I'm going to get this up to self-aware. Then I'm going to probably do the Enderman one to self-aware. Then maybe the Wither Skeleton one as well, because uh, why not, right? But once we do that, we'll kind of push on and probably get to some other advancements. There you go. I went ahead and got these all off the stuff wear, so they're looking pretty good here. I'm actually going to stop them from doing their work right now because uh, it's really draining my power. This one takes 800 RF, and this one takes 256. So the Wither Skeleton's really draining me. What's the Enderman? 512. Uh, yeah, too much power for me. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and process them at least. I don't know how much this takes here. I don't even know. Yeah, obviously it does take power. 256 right there. And then that one's going to take another probably 256, right? Anyway, it does take a fair amount of power to kind of get this done. But uh, not too big a deal. I noticed too with these uh, skeleton skulls. So you kind of look at them. Um, actually, let's look at them in here, right? Go to use. You can actually go ahead and just straight up make the other stairs. I could just go, bam, the other stairs just like that. So you don't even have to fight a wither realistically, which is uh, pretty nifty. But anyway, let's drop that off for now. And get you out of here and you out of here. Uh, I also had to add a Ender Inhibitor in here, just to make sure the Enderman couldn't teleport around. I'm also hungry, so let's deal with that real quick. <laughs> in a different way. Uh, we need uh, one of these puppies. We're going to just use a Gluttony Charm. It's going to make it so we need food really quick. It's really just a big quality life thing, right? We anyway, do that. Grab ourselves some bacon. Sweet. And uh, drop off you. And you. Okay. So the next thing I want to get to here is a little silly thing. I was looking at the quest line here. It wants us to make a Tinker's Yo-Yo. It wants us to make a Lumber Axe. <laughs> it then wants us to make an Unbreakable Tinker's Tool, which we could do in conjunction, right? Then it also wants us to make a, or level up a Tinker's Tool, which uh, we could do with the Mob Duplicator now. It also wants us to make a Pickaxe Head, because I never made Tinker's Pickaxe. So <laughs> we're going to do all those things. Oh, and a Medic. So we're going to go ahead and do all that Tinker stuff really quick, because uh, we have to. But anyway, let's go here first. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and grab some Ardite. We're gonna do some Mandolin. And Mandolin's done a little weird in this pack. I didn't really show it in the last episode, I, I don't think. Uh, I did go ahead and make all the Mandolin though. You do it, uh, yeah, you can do it two ways and I'll show it here in a second actually. Let's do that and that, pop that out. So Mandolin, you kind of look at it. Usually you would just do it a Ticker Smelter, right? But uh, you can't, you can't actually do the alloy. It's not listed here, usually it would be. Well, I guess when you click on the liquids, but you can't get the Molten Cobalt. Cobalt can't be smelted in this one, uh, in the smeltery at all. Like the agate skin, like I'll show you. Let's go right here, uh, here, and let's go to Cobalt. Check this out. I guess it's easier to show than explain, because it's gonna make a liar of me, because every time I say I say you can't do something, <laughs> you can. Anyway, let's do that right there. Put that there. That bar is gray, meaning we can't use it, right? So it's, it's, it's a little strange, right? And what they expect you to do, early in the pack, I guess, is go ahead and make this little Tinker's Compliment alloy thingy, which uh, I really don't see a point because I never used a Tinker's tool. It just kind of pigeonholed me and forced me in a direction, uh, and I went around it. So that is definitely a thing. <laughs> that was a lot of words for very little thing. But anyway, let's head over here. Let's grab that. Going to run that through the alloy furnace. That's going to turn to mandolin, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back to that in a couple minutes. First thing we're going to work on here, I guess, is go ahead and grab some gold. Let's do that. We'll make our other tools first to do the yo-yo last anyway. I think we're going to need like four gold, so let's do that there. We're going to need two casts for sure, so let's grab you. And we're going to need a peck axe head, right? So let's do head, do that one. Let's grab some oak. Sweet. And that should be everything. So let's go ahead and actually make them. So make one out of wood. Sweet. And then the other one out of wood as well. Cool, and then we'll just make our cast here. Uh, one of them is going to be advancement, the one for the pickaxe head. So we'll just do that. See if it's smelted. I didn't actually take the gold and smelt it off yet. Anyway, I have total dirt. There we go. We can grab some more patterns we're going to need anyway. So that one I don't need anymore. Uh, what's the other patterns we're going to need? If we do a matic, we will need that, that, and that. That's a matic. Then if I do a lumber axe, it's going to be you, tough rod, large binding, and plate, right? 
So that'll be the be that. So that's cool. Gold's done. Guess I can cast that off, right? I've got lava in there, so it's on the top. There we go. Get that done. Uh, the actual matic, I'll probably do. I'll actually use this one actually. Now that I think of it, because it's a good little farming tool. So let's go grab some stone then. Do that. I don't need it. I made out of any good material at all whatsoever. But uh, I could just do something like this instead. <laughs> I can make the stone head out of stone. I mean, sorry, the shovel head out of stone, the axe head out of stone, and then I'll just make this out of wood for all that matters. Should be a decent little tool actually for farming. And uh, yeah, we could definitely utilize that. So that is cool. Helps if I look at the right table though. There we go. There. That one's done. Nothing really Maddox. <laughs> the advancements are hilarious. There's another one. Sign my cast. And then we grab the wooden body, right? Pop that there. Get that one cast off. And that's what we're going to use the mandolin on. Um, the next one we'll work on is probably the lumber axe. Lumber axe I'm not even going to use. So I'm just going to do this actually. Do that. That. Can't remember if you can make a large plate. Yeah, you can. I would. Okay, cool. And then we just go ahead and make the lumber axe. Lumber axe would be really good if you were playing in a, um, what should we call it? If you're playing in prestige mode, that would actually be useful. But for me, I'm just going to drop it off. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go grab our mandolin really quickly. Mandolin is right there. Love that alloy furnace. It is a sweet little thing. And, uh, yeah, let's get that smelted down. It's weird that you can't smelt down the cobalt. Like, that's so strange. But mandolin, no problem. <laughs> it's a little weird how that works. And, uh, I guess the last thing we need would be the rest of the yo-yo. So the yo-yo we're going to do, uh, I actually need this. Let's grab you. Let's grab paper. Here we go. And grab the other patterns we need. We still need to do a cord, which I'll probably just use string. Then the pen, right? And the pen, we'll use paper. There we go. So the way we'll do that is grab you, toss you out, grab paper. That's going to give us the modifier writable, which adds a modifier. Then we can go to, what was the other one I was going to do? Oh, we need string, right? So let's do that. String. This tool doesn't need to be good. It just needs to be good enough for me to be able to level up once and get an advancement pretty much. But anyway, let's do that there. Go ahead and grab cord. There we go. There's that one. And that should be smelted. It is. Let's go ahead. Turn the mail on the bottom. Pour that off. And I guess the last part of it would be to grab. I put that right there. I need this. One more body piece. It actually takes two of them, right? Pop that in there. Grab some paper. That's going to give us another modifier of writable, which is awesome. And uh, we'll have a yo-yo. <laughs> the yo-yo is actually a pretty neat weapon. But uh, we're doing so good in weapons right now. Not too concerned. Oop, not you. That there, that there, that there. And there we go. We've got a mandolin paper yo-yo. <laughs> we take that, and it just kind of shoots out for a bit, and then it comes back by itself. And depending on how long it stays out there, I think it's dependent on the friction. And then another part depicts the, the range and stuff. But this is 9.6 damage, so it's not too bad. And it's six length, so it's a decent distance, which is pretty cool. How many experience did we need to... We need 500 experience to be able to get to the level, which isn't a big deal. Uh, we need to make uh, some more casts, though. Do I have any more blanks in here? No, we're going to need a little more gold. Let's go ahead and grab some more gold. Go. We need uh, 10 gold. Let's do that because we're going to need uh, five blank casts. So we'll do that real quick. Sweet. And uh, we'll just toss you into here, I guess. That's cool. And with this, we'll be able to make five reinforcements to be able to get that advancement as well. Uh, I guess it says reinforcements. Because it wants us to make one of them breakable, and that's what it takes. And that's why I put the breakable on it. Usually when you make a tool and it doesn't have paper on it, um, it would only have three modifiers. But because this has writable two, um, it had from the two paper parts, um, it's got the two extra modifiers, which will then be able to, you know, utilize. So that is the thing. Here we hit turn you like that. Turn you on for a second. Do your thing. <laughs> Give me a gas, man. And uh, I guess we just need obsidian. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. Obsidian. Stack. I think that's all it is for reinforcement, right? Reinforce. Mint. It's here, right? Yeah, it's right there. There we go. Yeah, we're good, man. Let's go ahead and uh, get these done. So just grab that. Pop that in there. Get ourselves, I guess, five of those. 
and then we're done, man. We're finished on that advancement there, which is pretty cool. Um, breakable yo yo. One, two, three, four, and five. And we got an advancement on broken. <laughs> cool. So I guess the last thing we could do here to kind of finish this off is grab this, turn that on, right? And probably do this, right? That. <laughs> this is our life now. Now, it shouldn't take too long to level this up, I don't think. What is that? 20 experience? Is it really that low? Hmm. I mean, it is what it is, right? How much is that? Oh, it won't take too long. Yeah, we'll just sit here for a few minutes, damage a few bombs. Once we have that done, uh, we'll be done our Tinker's Quest. We won't have to look at Tinker's Quest for the rest of the pack. Because, uh, yeah, anyone who knows my series knows me to um, avoid Tinker's Lot. Just because it was used so long for a year and a half. Like, every single mod had Tinker's. It was like your only tool option. To all of a sudden, all these new tool options just kind of appeared. So, yeah, definitely a thing. There you go. I went ahead and leveled up our yo-yo. I had, uh, yeah, got our advancement. Then I was looking through the advancements. I was just like, what am I going to work on next, right? Then I came across this one, and I, I did a little cursing. Use every modifier on a yo-yo at least once. So, yeah, we have more to do with a yo-yo at some point. And what's this one here? Use every Tinker's Construct tool or weapon modifier at least once. Well, that's not too bad. I guess you could use a lot of these on yo-yo. We're going to have to do a lot more Tinker stuff. I don't know why they made you do so many Tigger's Quest. It's like it's really forcing you down to Tigger's Tools, which is a little strange. I mean, these are endgame, though, so not that big a deal. And you got to do the same thing with the Tigger's Arbor, but we already have Tigger's Arbor. So not that big a deal, but it has to get done at some point. So, yeah, we are going to have to do that. Just, uh, yeah, stuff and things, man. Anyway, uh, I also noticed uh, another quest here. What was another quest I was looking at? We need two more saplings, and we're done. We're actually done the saplings, which is cool. We're not going to work on that right now. What I think we're going to work on is some mechanism upgrades. And then this one here, the Ender one. Let's go here. Let's do that real quick. Let's go here. Let's go to Ender. Check this out. This thing will actually fix my water problem too. But anyway, we're we'll grab a Ender chest. Grab a Ender tank. Let's grab that. Sweet. I really want these Ender tanks right now, actually. So let's go ahead and grab that. And while we're here, we'll grab the one that has the advancement, which is the Ender pouch. Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. There we go. And Ender Pouch. So these are cool little things here. So the Ender Chest, all of them, they actually work on this channel system. You can see there they say white, white, white on them. So basically when you put them down, you'll see there they have three little buttons on them. So this one is white, white, white. I could use a piece of dye and change the channel. But anyone that is on this white, white, white signal is all linked together. So this pouch is actually currently, because it is white, 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 linked to this, right? So I could just do... Uh, that, bam, that closes and ends up in there. It's magic. <laughs> uh, but I had this chest because uh, I think uh, just a different color, right? So I could just go, uh, what dye do I have here in here? Let's use uh, light gray for the sake of it. And I went and used that right there. I could then shift and right click on there. And it sets the pouch to that channel as well. So it kind of links them up. You could do the same thing with the liquid tanks, but not that big a deal. Anyway, let's go here. Let's go to, um, what would I need here? It's simple. Let's go to simple here. Go ahead and grab an import cable. And we're going to use this uh, chest here just as like a ranged kind of way of importing things into the system. Even if I'm another dimension, this won't be in range. But if I want to drop a lot of blocks on mining, I could just open up the uh, pouch here and just drop them off, right? So right now they're stuck in here. That's because these cables are derpy and you have to turn it to blacklist. There, it's in the system. I could just use it to import um, things into the system at range in mass really easily. So that is pretty cool. Uh, the tanks here I want to utilize though. So uh, let's get that going. And actually, while I'm doing this, I'm going to do a piece of gold I think I needed. I think I needed a piece of steel. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I think I also need a piece of osmium. So let's get that going too. Uh, we're going to do the mechanism upgrade. So I need to uh, grind some stuff down. It's advancement day. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're going to need some kind of water piping because right now these buckets, uh, these buckets, these drums have been derpy as heck, right? So if I go to E, I guess I don't have any buckets in here. Let's grab some iron. Do that. Do that there. Try to grab water out of this thing. It doesn't work, but the lava one worked upstairs just, uh, you know, like 20 minutes ago. So I don't know what's going on with them. It's been a little derpy. And uh, we're going to just kind of use this, these tanks to kind of help us a little bit, right? 
So let's go here and let's go to get cyclic, cyclic, and fluid. It's these ones, these cables right here. Go ahead and grab one of them. Go ahead and grab one of you. And go ahead and grab you. So I'm going to still use the drum because it's a nice buffer. I mean, that's a thousand buckets, right? But uh, the problem is it just isn't working properly. So we're just going to take the cable, pop it there, put it right there. And now all the water will end up in the tank. And it's also in this one because it's on the same channel. And whenever I need water, I just have one of these tanks on me, <laughs> which works pretty awesome. And it's portable, right? Also, I can feed it into any machine I want to from the tanks instead of one of them, which also works. So that is cool. Anyway, that's cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's kind of grind down that osmium. Then finish our upgrades here. Then kind of push forward. I'll probably do a bunch of these upgrades in between episodes, actually. But I just want to grab the advancements right now. Let's go here. Let's go to mech. And it was upgrade, right? The three it wants us to make are these ones, right? Oh, I need to grab here. I think I was making a bunch of these things. Enriched alloys. <laughs> and uh, let's grab that compressed, too. And we can toss that in there, right? So we'll just do that. Sweet. Now, I guess we could just craft these. So let's go ahead and grab the speed upgrade, energy upgrade, and the muffling. So this mod's a little weird. So unlike most mods where you can just turn the sounds off, <laughs> this one kind of blackmails you into having to use upgrades. So you have to actually put an upgrade in there to make it so it actually muffles it. Also, the speed upgrades, it's weird too. You have to like wait for a little cooldown when you install things. Uh, but the speed will make it use more power. Then energy kind of levels it out, right? So for every speed, you always want to have another energy in here. And you only put four speeds and four energies in the machine. Then it's maxed out. So that is the thing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We just got a bunch more achievements there. Got to go fast, power save mode, and shh. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. But uh, I think I'm actually going to wrap this video up here. So yeah, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. We guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.